Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mahmud Kubaib. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the features of Microsoft Defender that you can implement in your Azure Virtual Desktop or Citrix Virtual Desktop environment so that you can secure your infrastructure. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. And if you learn more about Azure, Citrix or FS Logix technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for Business. The first one is web content filtering and then we have custom network indicators and then we have tamper protection and then we will see how to configure email notification for the vulnerability management. So to use this feature you need to meet some of the prerequisites. You should have Microsoft Enterprise E5 or E3 or P1 or P2 Defender license which is highlighted over here and then you should have a portal access for the Microsoft Defender. And then the VDA operating should be Windows 11 or Microsoft Windows 10 and not update 1607 or later. And very important, you need to have Windows Defender Smart Script and Network Protection should be enabled. So this you can enable it either through Group Policy or Microsoft Intune. Let's see what is Web Content Filtering. So Web Content Filtering, it will help you to track or regulate access to website based on the content categories. Many of these websites which may not be malicious might be problematic because of compliance regulations, bandwidth usage or other concerns. So for example, if you have VDIs and uh, you're using and your users are using the VDA for day to day work, they may use different websites, either they can use the games website or any other high bandwidth, for example, Netflix, etc. So which may choke your bandwidth and ultimately it will lead to an incident. Similarly, they can access any adult content website or leisure website, etc, etc. So if you want to block them, either you can block it on the firewall level. But however, using Microsoft Defender, you can block it at the operating system level itself. So this is the feature of Microsoft Defender where you can enable web content filtering so that based on the categories, you can restrict the websites. So there are few categories. For example, adult content, high bandwidth, legal liability, leisure and uncategorized. So based on your requirement, you can select which category of websites you want to block. So whenever the user try to access those websites, automatically it will get blocked. You will also get a report on the Defender Endpoint portal related to the block websites. Let's see how to configure web content filtering for our Azure Virtual Desktop or Citrix Dash virtual machines. So. In this Microsoft 365 Defender portal, we need to go to settings. So under setting, we need to select endpoints. So here under general, we need to select add-on features. Then we need to scroll down and need to select web content filtering. We need to scroll down and we need to select web content filtering. And then we need to turn on this option and we need to save the preferences. So once this is enabled, we need to go to the web content filtering option under the rules. So we need to select web content filtering over here and then we need to create a rules. So to create rules, we need to click on add item. Under policy name, we need to enter the name for the policy or for the rule. So I'm going to enter block social media and then we need to click next. Here under categories, we need to select. So typically the social media which comes under leisure. So if you expand this option, you will see social networking. So we need to select this option and we need to click next. And if you have any device groups which is created, then you can select the device group. Otherwise, if you wanted to apply this to the entire VDI, then simply click next and save the configuration. So now we have created the rule or policy to block social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. Similarly, if you wanted to create more policies or more rules, so you need to repeat the same procedure. We need to click on add item, give some name and then select next and select the categories based on your requirement. For example, if you wanted to block high bandwidth sites, so you need to select this option and here you can select either download sites such as torrent, etc 
image sharing, peer-to-peer or streaming media or downloader, for example, any media related websites such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. So it's all belongs to this category and then accordingly you can create the policy so that you can block all these sites from the virtual desktops. We have a device which is onboarded to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The name of the device is WVD-MD-0. So if we go to the Azure portal and if we go to Azure Virtual Desktop, we can see the same device over here as well. So let's log into this particular virtual desktop either through web browser or through RD client and we will see how web filtering policy works. I have launched a remote desktop client. So from here, I'm going to launch my Azure Virtual Desktop. I'll enter the credential to sign into my Azure Virtual Desktop. So we have logged into the Azure Virtual Desktop. Let's see by launching the Microsoft Edge and we'll try to access some social media networks such as Facebook, etc. And we will see the behavior of web filtering policies. So I'm going to open www.facebook.com. As you can see, now the web filtering policy from Microsoft Defender is blocking Facebook.com. If I try to access any other site, for example, www.google.com, it will work. Why? Because we have only blocked social media category. So this is how we can make use of web filtering policy to block unwanted sites based on the category. Let's discuss the second point, which is custom network indicator. So using custom network indicator, we can block or allow IP or URLs or domain based on the threat intelligence. It means when we use the web filtering, there is no option to block based on the IP address or URLs or domains. It is based on the category. So we need to select the category accordingly. It will block. If you have a specific requirement to block certain IP address or URLs instead of blocking the entire category, then we need to use custom network indicator. So in order to configure the custom network indicator, we need to enable Microsoft Windows Defender Smart Screen as well as network protection in block mode. So this can be done using group policies. Let's see how to configure custom network indicator so that we can block specific URL or IP address. So in the Microsoft Defender portal, we need to go to the settings. Under settings, we need to select endpoints. Here we need to scroll down to get the custom network indicator option. So we need to turn on this option. So make sure that you have a network protection in block mode as well as you should have Windows 10 version 1709 and later. Once you verify these things, click on save preferences. So then we need to head over to the custom network indicator to define our IP address or malicious URLs to block it. So here we have the option which is indicators. So here we have file hashes so you can block any files with respect to the hashes as well as we can add any public IP address. Suppose let's say if you have a bunch of malicious IP address you can define over here and URLs as well as certificates. So in this example we will check the URLs and IP address. So let's add one item. I'm going to block www.bbc.com. So once you define your URLs over here, so here you have an option to set this particular policy. Uh, either you can set it to never so that it will be there forever and uh, or else you can put a custom date for example if you wanted to block this particular site for maybe one, one, one month or two months you can select the custom date and then click on next here you have an option to allow audit or one or block execution so based on your requirement you can select so in this example i'm going to select block here you can give the title for the alert test bbc block i'm going to assign i have given the name test bbc block so then verify the severity which severity you wanted to keep for this particular rule so i'm going to keep it as medium 
so here category you can select suspicious activity or whatever with respect to your requirement and then under recommended action you can put a note here also description you can put some notes i'm going to click next and then here if you have a specific device group you can assign it to it or else you can assign it to the entire devices which is onboarded to your defender find point i'm going to click on save so now we have rule created which is for bbc.com let's create one more rule here we are going to block azure portal for example portal.azure.com click on next here i'm going to select one so i'm not going to block it so i'm just warning the users that we should not access this url so you can generate an alert also here test portal you can write some description over here so then you can click next and if you have any device group again you can assign it to it or else you can assign it to the entire devices which is reported to the defender simply click on save to finish the configuration so now we have created two rules basically one to block and another one to warn so now let's go to the ip address and we will define some public ip address to do the block so we need to click add item so here we need to enter the ip address i'm going to enter the ip address so this some um, ip address belongs to some portal so let's block this ip address then we'll click next here i'm going to select block execution so we are going to enter the alert title as block ip and then severity you can choose as medium and then we can add some description or recommended action i'm just saying okay also in the description i'm saying okay and i'm going to select next there is no device group available i'm going to assign it to all so we need to click next and then we need to save so now we have created a rule for both ip address as well as urls so let's go back to our virtual desktop and we will try to access bbc.com and azure portal as well as the ip address so now we have the rules everything is ready so i have logged into the session desktop and i'm going to launch the microsoft edge browser first we will try to open portal.azure.com so i'm going to type the url so here we can see it is giving a warning so we have configured in that way so it will give you the warning that this content is blocked and it is not advised to access this however it is not blocking the access it will give you the option to allow so if you click allow then it will proceed with the azure portal similarly we have already set bbc.com as blocked so if i open bbc.com it will straight away block the bbc page so as you can see here there is no way to get into the bbc.com it is straight away blocking and then we have also blocked one public ip address so let's try to open that public ip address so this is my public ip address I'm going to access this public IP address and eventually it will block. So as you can see, Defender is blocking the public IP address as well. So with this custom network indicator will help us to block IP address or malicious URLs from the virtual desktop or any computer where it is onboarded to Microsoft Defender. The next feature is tamper protection. So this is the feature in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. It will help you to protect your organization from unwanted changes to your security settings. So when you enable tamper protection, it will help you to prevent unauthorized user or malicious actors from turning the threat protection features such as disabling the antivirus or threat protection or real time protection behavioral monitoring etc etc for example let's say your system is compromised the first thing hacker what he will do he will go and disable the antivirus or real time monitoring all those settings so when you enable tamper protection it will protect you from any unauthorized changes to your security settings so this is highly advisable to enable this option in your virtual desktops so when you enable defender for endpoint with tamper protection so it will locks microsoft defender antivirus to its secure default values and prevents your security settings from being changed through apps or methods such as for example if somebody is trying to change the antivirus default values to 
or some other custom value in order to bypass the settings through registry or PowerShells. So all these things it can block. However, as an admin can change all the settings from the security apps in Windows. In the portal, we need to select the settings blade. So here under setting, we need to select endpoints. So under endpoints, we need to choose advanced features. So if we scroll down, we will see an option called tamper protection. So we just need to turn on this feature and we need to click on save preference. So after this, any onboarded virtual machines or physical PCs to Microsoft Defender, if some applications or some hackers are trying to do anything with the Defender antivirus settings, etc., the tamper protection feature will block such changes. At last, we have email notification. So you can enable email notification for any alerts or any new vulnerabilities in your environment in the Microsoft Defender portal so that whenever there is any new vulnerabilities maybe on the operating system or browser or any other applications so you will get notified so that you can act accordingly. This is also an important feature you need to enable in order to proactively monitor your environment. To configure email notification in Microsoft Defender we need to go to the same setting menu so under settings we need to select endpoints so here in the endpoint we need to browse to the option called email notification. So here in this option, we can configure email notification based on the alerts or based on the new vulnerabilities discovered in your infrastructure. For example, if you wanted to create any notification for any kind of alert, so we need to click on add item. So here we need to give the name for the alert and then we need to select the alert category. So either we need to uh, Either we need to get a notification for the information or low or medium high based on that you can get the email notification. So once you select the alert severity and then click on next. So here you can enter your email address. So once you can enter your email address you can save the configuration. So that any alert generated on your infrastructure for example if any malicious code or malicious app is found in your UC found in your VDI environment then it will send an alert and that alert will create a notification so that in your email you will get a notification based on the alert severity. Similarly, if you wanted to create any notification based on the vulnerabilities discovered, so you can create the alerts over here. So you can create a policy for that and then click on next. So here it will ask you want notification if a new vulnerability found or exploit was found or new public exploit is found. So based on that, you can choose whatever you required. So, so that you will get a notification on your email whenever there is any vulnerability or exploit is found in your infrastructure. So in this example, I have configured a notification for my vulnerability. So I have mentioned that any new vulnerability found, I need to get a alert. So if I go back to my email, so I can see that I have received an email. So if I scroll down, so the vulnerability details are over here, which is CVE 20224440 and which is based on Microsoft Edge Chromium. This vulnerability basically belongs to Microsoft Edge. So and here also you can get the severity and the CVSS score, etc. Also exposed device. So all these details you can get on your email so that you can quickly take an action and close the vulnerability or patch your environment accordingly to safeguard your infrastructure. So this is the brief features of Microsoft Defender where we discussed about web filtering, network indicator and tamper protection and then how to set email notification so that you can protect your infrastructure using these features of Microsoft Defender.